This is a legendary race boat. It was built by Mike Plant in the 80s and circumnavigated the globe single-handed twice, the fastest American to do so at the time at 135 days. With a storied past and a 25-year pause on the hard, Duracell's story now continues with us. We're turning this old racehorse into a fast and comfortable cruising home. First, I removed all hardware and systems, including electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. As winter approached, we built a shed around the boat to keep the rain out. Demolition began by cutting out the cockpit and aft ballast tanks. Then we built a new main bulkhead just a foot and a half after the original and fiberglassed it in. Nice. <laughs> nice job. I've been thinking about this step in the project for years because I know what it will do to the look of the boat. I've thought a lot about Mike Plant and John spending many thousands of miles in this pod, traversing oceans and weathering storms. Duracell is not going to be used like they used it anymore, as a circumnavigating racehorse. This is the point in the project where the boat becomes our own. The next thing to do was build the new doghouse. First we had to mock it up to make sure we liked how it looked. Basically we wanted to extend the old doghouse aft to cover the old cockpit. We built the sides first with foam and fiberglass. the deck beams that will support the roof.
and then the roof came next. We are laminating the top of the doghouse. Then the aft wall, which would hold the main sheet and the traveler on the top. Finally, the windshield, which will have a few windows when it's done, was glassed in. We stood back and saw that the doghouse was finally coming together. It's a little house on a boat. The next phase of the project was to extend up the old transom. This will expand the side decks and cockpit aft without making the boat any longer. I built a mold around the stern to extend the, extend the whole sides up. We filled that with foam and fiberglass and the new stern took shape. The backstay will eventually be attached to this part of the boat. We built composite chain plates to hold the backstay and reinforced them many times over. There are more than 50 layers of fiberglass on this part. Do you ever get bored of lamination? Uh, I do not. In this case I don't because I'm finally seeing 
something come to fruition that I've been dreaming about for a few years now. And so to see this doghouse and now a whole extension come to like become reality is really exciting for me. So, you know, and vacuum bagging is like, as somebody commented recently, an addiction for me, which is 100% true. So, no, it's a lot, the short answer is no.